through your saints of God. I'm back with part three of the supernatural right now. Um, it's a mixture of prophecy, being a prophet, prophesying over people in the supernatural. Um, it's a beautiful topic. We love God. God's presence is here right now. Hallelujah. It is so amazing to me um, that God uses people around me, not just include myself, um, to give accurate prophecy and to have supernatural things to happen to them. Hallelujah. On a daily basis are, you know, it's just it's, it's natural. Like I love um, Mr. Sid Rock. He said it's natural. The, the supernatural should be natural basically. And I have that type of leadership that operate in that type of gift, like daily. But the beautiful thing about it is God wants to unlock, unveil the supernatural to all his children. I say again, God wants to unlock and unveil all to all God's, his children, the supernatural. Hallelujah. God does not want you to be fearful of the supernatural. A lot of people think when you speak about a supernatural, they'd be like super spooky. I'm fearful. I don't want I don't want to see that stuff. But it is a privilege and an honor that God opens up your spiritual eyes for you to actually see these things in the spirit realm. God wants to take you to a higher dimension. God wants to take you to a uh, another level in him hallelujah and it is the supernatural hallelujah it's just not the natural it's just not over there clapping in the church service going to church all the time hallelujah and and it's gonna free somebody right now this is gonna bless somebody right now that's why god has unctioned me to say the holy spirit is strongly speaking through me right now hallelujah and that's what god placed on my heart to tell you is like look god wants to take you to another dimension in him all you have to do is ask him. The Bible said you have not. <laughs> Hallelujah. And basically, in summary, you have not because you, you ask not. Hallelujah. If you ask, if you knock. Hallelujah. What the Bible speaks about, if you knock, the door should be open. Hallelujah. If you ask. Hallelujah. So if you asking God for the supernatural in your life. Like you should be, hallelujah. You should be wanting to get on another level with God, to, to God to take you to another dimension in him. And I always, and I spoke about this on season one, about speaking in tongues and speaking in the Holy Spirit. And I spoke about it in a fresh manner. It's a beautiful thing to speak in tongues, hallelujah. You speak in your heavenly language when God gives you the unction and speaking, telling you that's a portal too. That is a, that is a strong principle. That's, that opens up doors, hallelujah, for the supernatural to take place in your life. It's speaking in your precious heavenly language, the Holy Spirit taking over and speaking through you in the heavenly language. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks about we don't even know how to pray for, for things that we ought to. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit makes utterance. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is one of the... He is the most vitalist person right here on earth right now. Hallelujah. That dwells in your temple for God. Hallelujah. So what that said is you want to always pray in the Holy Spirit. And what happened to me, just to touch a tad bit more on my testimony, what happened to me, and I believe I just touched on it a little bit in season one, my wife, she spoke in tongues before me. That's the thing. And when I met my wife, my wife was already speaking in tongues. And I wasn't. So when we used to get on the phone back when we was young and study our Bible and read our Bible together, she used to be speaking in tongues and I used to be in awe, be like, man, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> and I don't want to play with God. I don't want <laughs> I don't want to play with God. I'm not going to be over here acting like I could speak in tongues. I, I respected God enough to know that when I was a babe in Christ that I don't play with God. I don't want to be over here trying to speak in tongues like I know what I'm doing. But when God blessed me to finally speak in tongues in 2000, in the beautiful year of 2007, it was just an unlocking and an unveiling, a new dimension. Hallelujah. A new level in God that I didn't even know it even existed. It was so beautiful to speak in God's heavenly language in the tongues of the angels. Hallelujah. And God was so awesome. 
when he, he gave it to me, he now presented to me like, so now you have the gift. And it was a part of my visitation. It was a part of my visitation that God came to me. The Holy Spirit came to me and was like, here, now you can speak in tongues. Like, here it is. I gave it to you. And from then on, I have been speaking in tongues. And it is just awesome to speak in tongues. It's just I rather that's just me. I rather pray in tongues than even in English most times. I <laughs> hallelujah. I love I'm gonna give you some principles. I could give you this hallelujah. Um I love to say this. While you're driving, you need to pray in tongues, hallelujah. Why you walking, you know what I'm saying? You just pray in tongues, hallelujah. It's just a beautiful thing that it's just power. It's just power to open up the supernatural things. You praying, and a lot of times, you know, God will show me different things while I'm praying in a, in a in my heavenly language, just showing me, bam, 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 showing me people, showing me situations, different things, and I'm just praying, just praying. It's just so fluid. It's just so fluid because it's God. Hallelujah. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. Hallelujah. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it until God gave me the unction to do it. When he gave me the visitation and came to me, then I was able to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. That's why I tell God's people, don't play with God. Hallelujah. Don't play with God. He is so real. He is more real than you <laughs> could ever imagine. He is life itself. Hallelujah. God is so awesome. He is supernatural. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Bible speaks about these different miracles. Hallelujah. That God was using Paul to do about the handkerchief. Hallelujah. The disciples' shadows and stuff like that, healing people. This happens today, saints of God. And the, the bad thing about it is this. A lot of times we don't get to see these supernatural manifestations of God's awesome awesome heavenly power working through people here in the States because of their unbelief. If we take heed to what God was saying, it is God wants to use us like the prophets of old. He wants to use us even more mightily than our forefathers. Hallelujah. So don't, don't, don't look at it as being strange. Embrace who God called us to be. We're supposed to be people of God that's working in the supernatural. Hallelujah. You're just not um, a, a seat woman. Hallelujah. You're just not a teacher, a preacher. God's calling you even higher, more in depth to be able to interpret dreams, to have supernatural dreams on the daily, to be able to decree and declare in people's lives by the Holy Spirit, by God, and it manifests in their life. Hallelujah. He's calling you higher. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to somebody right now. God is calling you. Hallelujah. I'm looking at you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is looking at you right now. Hallelujah. His presence right now is going to take place in your life. He is going to give you visitations. He's going to give you supernatural dreams. He's going to give you a, a super... A natural endowment like he gave me an impartation hallelujah of his glory of his power hallelujah in your life to manifest in your life so you know it without a shadow of doubt you know it's your holy heavenly father that's showing you and revealing to you in this hour that is him hallelujah i'm telling you saints of god i'm telling you i don't have none to lose i do not have none to lose hallelujah I am blessed. I am highly favored. I know who I am in Christ. This is now, never, ever, ever for no money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never, ever. Not with me. If I tell you it happened, that's what it is. Hallelujah. Because I know that makes my heavenly father smile. If, if it wasn't for God. Hallelujah. That's how I am, saints. If it wasn't for God, God is good all the time for me. It is well. He wants you to know his supernatural side of him. And I'm going to leave you with that, saints. I love you. I, I embrace God's supernatural right now. I pray that you embrace God's supernatural right now. This has been part three. Hallelujah. The supernatural, the prophetic. 
just a tad bit teaching just a little bit just a smidgen because we don't have that much time so we love you so very much we pray for you we thank god for your facebook prayer requests your messages your love your everything that you 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 give to all ministries we just thank god for you we love you so very much god bless you